Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another great week. Yes. We are excited to be back in the Word of we God. Are. And we have so much fun yes. with each other. It's so awesome. Hey, guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking again about, re actually, we're diving into Reason 21, why it's God's will. We are wow, so we're almost halfway. sure. Yes, we are almost halfway. <laughs> We are so sure it's God's will for all to prosper. We've been going through Genesis and we're trucking our way to Revelation and we're excited about reading the Word of God. And this morning, woo, we've got wisdom from God and uh, we stopped and talked about the prophets. And so today we are sure it's God's will for all to hear and to see and to know God's Word and to know about prosperity because God's prophets taught about divine prosperity. They lived it by their actions. Mm. Come on now. They lived it by their actions. They preached prosperity. They preached health. It was all about the prosperity message. Oh. And so we're going to be looking um, this morning in, say, in 1 Kings 17, 7 and 16. Oh boy, I'm just, I'm just way ahead of myself. My Come spirit's on. out there in the future or something. But it's the good. prophets knew, and this is what was, was turning in my heart as we were reading through this. The prophets knew God. They trusted God like we do, and they prospered. Here in 1 Kings 17, 7 through 16, and we're going to talk about the widow as their path. And this is really important. Uh, and this is the one that really stuck out to me and through all the prophets. You can go through all the prophets. There's so much richness there in the area of mm -hmm. prosperity. But here it says in verse 8, And the Lord said to Elijah, Go and live in the village of Sarapath near the city of Sidon. I have instructed a widow there to feed you. I'm going to go on. So he went to Seraphath. He arrived at the gates of the village, saw a widow gathering spirit, this gathering spirits, gathering sticks, spirit of seeing and spirit of knowing. He oh. asked her, would you please bring me a little water in a cup? As she was going to get it, he called to her, bring me a bite of bread too. Whoop, that stopped her right there. But she said, I swear by the Lord, uh, your God, that I don't have a single piece of bread in the house. I only have a handful of flour left in the jar and a little cooking oil left in the bottom of the jug. That's all I have. I was gathering a few sticks to cook my last meal. And then my son and I are just going to die. That's not good news. But Elijah, here comes the spirit of prosperity that's on us as believers. And here it comes uh, Elijah showing God's will for all to prosper. He said to her, don't be afraid. Go ahead and do just what you've said. Make a little bread for me first. Then use what's left to prepare a meal for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord of Israel says. There will always, don't you love that? There will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again. So through a drought, he's saying, listen, I'll take care of you. So she did as Elijah said, and she and Elijah and her family continued to eat for many days. There was always, I love that word always, there's always enough flour and olive oil left in the containers, just as the Lord had promised through Elijah. Wow, what a prophecy. And that prophecy came to pass constantly. It was continually I love that. coming to pass. I love that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. I love that one. That's really, really good. Wow. He, it, it, for him, and we're talking about the prophets, carrying that spirit of prosperity, carrying that message of prosperity, that's what we are as Christians. Yes. We are carrying the gift. Last week we talked about prosperity as a gift, God. We're carrying that gift along with us. We have the spirit of prosperity on us because the spirit of the Lord is upon us to prosper not only us, but those that are going through it now in our so lives. The thing with prophets, mm -hmm. it's they prophesy things and we hold, take hold of those things if they're good. If someone starts prophesying something over you that's bad, you mm -hmm. can negate it and not accept it. You know, prophecy is something that, you know, words are being spoken, right? Yeah. It's just interesting. And I know there's a difference between the prophets of the Old Testament and prophets of the New Testament today. 
They confirm, and like you said earlier. We were talking about this earlier. Yes. They confirm they what's confirm in your what's heart. what's already in yeah. your heart today. Yeah. That's what the prophets do today. Um, God, there's so much here, but it's just we have had some words spoken over us, and they were good words to help us to get us through things. Yeah. So, like, we still stand on some of the prophet prophecies that have been said over us from 25 years ago and we see them now just coming to pass but even through hard times we look at those so that we and they witness with our heart that we are going to get through and that yeah. nations are on our heart and that nations will come to pass yeah. in our life yeah. and so we stand on that it's so good and we it witnessed with our heart when it was first said the yes. same thing it witnessed with her yes. the widow of Zarephath it witnessed with her heart so she acted on it yes if it, if it does we've had people prophesy over us and we're like what the you know where or we they were. could say something like things aren't going to go well for you yeah. and you're like no I don't accept no, that no this that that doesn't line with the word of right? God we always go back to the word of God always go back to the word of God so if someone prophesies something over you and it doesn't witness with your heart you don't have to accept I it. love that but I love that. also we when something is said over you and it witnesses with your heart it's yeah. up to you to go back yeah. to those and to stand on God's yeah. word and yeah. the, what's been established yeah. so that it will come to to pass. Go yeah. ahead. No, after it's you. So good. I was just going yeah, go to read it. this scripture that we have been talking about, and yeah. it's it's in line with this in Second Chronicles twenty twenty. And as you know, the past couple times, the Word English Bible is what I'm going on the translation, and it says in the last part of it, it says, "Believe in Yahweh your God, so you will be established. Mm. Believe His prophets." So you will prosper. So all of that is positive things. I love that. So we, any, anything that uh, is prophesied over you or, you know, we need to, it needs to be good so yeah. that yeah. it, it yeah. establishes what God yeah. is and yeah. who God is. And God yeah. is nothing but good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is, this is so powerful. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, what reason wow. are we on? Reason 21, we are sure for all of us to prosper today. We are, we are, we are studying out prosperity because we are seeing throughout the word of God, mm -hmm. the spirit of prosperity or God himself is showing us that this is just continually. I love so what you good. said. It's always, as we said, yes. Elijah was saying, it's, uh, uh, Isaiah was saying it was always, it's always, it's always. So Oh, there's so much here. I, I agree with you. We could stay here all day with you. But listen, divine prosperity is on you because you're a believer. That's what you're believing for. And that means we talk about this all the time. That means your health. That means your finances. That means your mental. That means your family. That's socially. All the areas of your life God has for you. And so let's yes. wrap it up. Reason 21. Woo! It's God's will for all of us to prosper because the prophets taught about and lived it and showed by their actions. This is the way God wants us to live our lives. Yes. Sometimes you got to step out. Step out good. knowing that the Word of God is true. And the Word of God is almost like prophecy. You know, mm. He says, give and it shall be given back to you. Well, that's a, a prophecy being said that you yeah. got to first do something. Yeah. And if you do, just like the woman mm -hmm. that you just read about, if you do, then this is what's going to happen. And so she never good. ran out. So if we will step out mm. and give and be a blessing, Good word. Then, yeah, things Press down, will take shaking care. together, running He's over. He's going to take care of you. Wow, that's and, a prophecy. And, and I, I've just, we're just so grateful. Um, wrapping this up for our believers family and our super duper Patreon members yes. who are sponsoring these videos. Thank you so much. This is seed going back to you, press down, shaking together, running over. You're touching the world with us. Yes. Together we're working together and we're yeah. just so grateful for everyone joining us today. All of our guests, uh, all of our online family. Thank you. And don't forget to watch this Sunday's message online as it comes up on believersinternational.church. Get on Believers International. There's so many wonderful things that are just there free for you to be. We just want to be a blessing to yes. you. 
And so have the best day ever. We're going to end this for the kingdom because we, we all do what we do for the kingdom of God. That's you included. So let's do it for the kingdom. On the count of three, say for the kingdom. One, two, three, for, for the, the kingdom. kingdom. We love you all. God bless you and have the best day ever in Jesus' name.